If you're in the market for a backpack blower and need a serious amount of capabilities and don't mind having a little bit of overkill like myself, take a look at the Steel BR800 series. This backpack blower has been awesome for me and is something I'd recommend to just about anyone. Now, as you can see here, I'm blowing a lot of leaves. All these leaves are wet. It had just rained and is still kind of sprinkling while we're blowing some of these leaves around. They're all maple, oak, and beech leaves. This stuff is thick. We're blowing them in piles, moving them 100 feet plus, and there is a lot going on here, and it takes a lot of power to do so. We have 912 CFM, 239 mile per hour wind out of this backpack blower that weighs around 23 pounds. Well, I have the 800X version, and that is the lighter one of the two that Steel makes. It ha does not have the waist belt. It is a little bit, at least online, it looks like it's less comfortable than the 800CE. Not the case. The 800CE just takes a lot more to put on. The 800CE also has a side pull start. So you actually put this on your back, then pull start it from the side. Great for contractors who are, might stop and talk to somebody, then start the machine back up. I didn't need to spend the extra $50 and carry the extra two pounds. I went with the X. It is very, very comfortable and easy to put on and off. Very simple to use. I like that portion. In starting it, is easy. I kind of let this warm up slightly. This is a four stroke that does take a mixture like a two stroke. So you're going to want to buy the steel oil with this. They don't tell you this in the store, but if you buy the steel oil at the same time you purchase this, it'll extend the warranty from two years to four years, which is awesome. I only use ethanol free gas, rec fuel in this and the steel oil. I mix everything in this container. I buy 0.95 gallons worth of gas pour in one steel container for the one gallon of oil, and I have my mixture, and then it's easy to fill. This is something I just keep around. That works in almost all the steel products I have, which is awesome. I recommend looking at the BR800 as the top of the line because you can drop down to the BR600, save some weight, but you're losing 40%-ish of the power. So every time you move up, they add 20% to go to the BR700, 20% more to go to the BR800, and you're gaining a lot of power by moving up for about $50. So you might as well go big, enjoy all the power that's there. You have variable speed trigger, obviously it's gas, you, have, you can throttle down, and it's nice not to have to run this at full throttle. If you're in landscaping or anything like that, you don't wanna blow all the mulch, so you just slow down a little bit. And then when you need to move large amounts of leaves, you just get into it and you have all the power you could ever want to move anything around, including like chestnuts or anything. You can move acorns, you can move piles of stuff if you want to, and it will blow it long, long distances away from you. And I think that's what really draws this to me. I don't have to be right up on something to move it. I can get underneath it a little bit, lift it off the ground, and then just kind of push it into the woods. If I had a handheld blower with this amount of force, I couldn't hang on to it. When you get into this and start moving with the air, it actually pushes back on you a little bit. It's not hard to move, it's not hard to hold, but you can feel everything kind of pull back on your straps and you, you know you're running something with a lot of force. A handheld blower, it would tear your wrist up and you'd be really sore after using it for five minutes. So this is not in any comparison to any handheld blower. I've used a lot of battery operated backpack blowers and they're great, but they don't have anything compared to the power that this BR800X has. It just, I love my battery blowers and they have a use trust me i use them all the time cleaning out the garage doing a light cleaning when there's a little bit of leaves around they're very very convenient they don't have the power and they don't have the runtime to get a job like this done it's a great thing to have a larger blower that can just knock this stuff out be very fuel efficient and have basically no maintenance there's no oil to change in this all you have to do is mix your fuel make sure you use rec fuel and you're not gonna have any problems. 
The fuel tank down here holds 67 ounces of fuel. Highly recommend a fuel container something like this. This is easy. I hate them in the larger containers, but for something like this, I can get ready to pour, push the green button when I need to, and this will fill this up simply and without a mess. I really enjoy having this type of gas can around for these small things and including my chainsaws. Now with that said, this 67 ounces will last approximately an hour, maybe at full throttle, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how hard you're using this. And it's very, very simple to start. All we have to do is use this primer. Now this primer, you can push almost all you want. It's not going to flood anything. You turn your choke on, and I'm gonna make a mess, but we're gonna start this. This is a very easy start, so you don't have to pull hard. Hit the throttle, and it turns off the choke, and it's running. Besides the choke, everything is controlled here in the handle. You have a trigger, that's going to be your throttle. Then you can use your cruise control, which will just bump you up and hold that throttle wherever you'd like it if you don't want to hold the throttle. And when you're done at the end of the day, you just push down and that will turn this whole unit off. You can adjust where this arm goes forward and back, very easy. And it does swivel and move around quite easily. There is a small tube if you didn't want to have this larger tube on here. I like the larger tube. It allows me to get closer to the ground. Uh, people laugh. I can almost edge with this thing. It's that powerful. If I have anything growing over the, the grass under the concrete, it will blow it back. And in many cases, it just kick it and it will just go away. I mean, this thing is super powerful. This little piece on the end is so you can fold it up and hang it per se from the actual backpack blower. But design of this is awesome. Here's where the X differs from the C. You have the simple backpack style straps. They are very padded and you have a small back pad that's at the bottom. This does not get hot back here. You're not gonna sweat having it on. You don't feel any of the engine heat. And in fact, there is a vibration dampener from it. So you don't feel anything while you're carrying this around. My first thought on this was I want more. I want more comfort. I actually spent $10 and purchased this strap that goes across. So you had a chest strap to keep these together. That was a waste of money. I don't use it. It is not needed and this is very, very comfortable. They are adjustable so you can simply pull on these if you want to tighten things up. But it, it's very easy to use. So how do you put it on? First, I start the unit up and when it's running, I can put my arm through, grab the throttle, put the other arm through and just lift. Very simple, comes off same way. I always have a table around because that just seems easy. I put it in the back of a side-by-side, -side, anything like that, where it's sitting there, that allows me to slide in at the same level where it's at rather than picking it up and trying to slide in, but you could easily do that also. Overall, huge fan of this. I do like steel. I do like their stuff. I have a lot of chainsaws, so some people don't like steel, and I understand. So however you want to look at it, a higher-end backpack blower from almost any company might do you better if you spend a little bit more money. I looked on Amazon. One of the best sellers is around $350 for a brand name. It's a Husqvarna, and that is going to do fair. It's not going to be great, and this is... $300 more, but at the same point, you're gonna get almost double the performance, a lot more speed, a lot more ability, and I think that that's something to look at. Plus the fact they're getting a four-year warranty, I think that's big. Most of the less expensive ones have a year warranty, and with that said, use the oil that they recommend. That, to me, is very important in the longevity of this. Don't invest in a tool and then cheap out when it comes to the oil that keeps it going. I think that's very important to use good quality fuel, good quality oil, and this stuff will last for a long time without you having to take it back for any maintenance. A lot of people complain about maintenance with gasoline. In this case, use good stuff and you won't have that problem. Lots of great power in this. Check it out. 
Give me your comments below. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.